All right, today we're going to be going over how to do a one point perspective drawing. First step is to create a vanishing point. Vanishing point can be placed anywhere, it's your choice. Next step horizon line. This is also called the eye level. All right. After the horizon line, we are going to put in the back wall. This is the furthest point in a one point perspective drawing of a hallway or a room. Um, is a defined plane that reaches the end. If you were looking at a room, this is the back wall, the one opposite of you. All right, the vanishing point must be contained within the back wall, has to be inside of it, cannot work any other way. All right, next step after the back wall is to draw in the primary orthogonals. Primary orthogonals have to be originated from the vanishing point and go through the corners of the back wall. Any other way does not work. Can't stress it enough, orthogonals have to come from the vanishing point. They do not come from the vanishing point, it does not work, okay? So we're looking at it here, and now we have our walls, floor, and ceiling. The primary orthogonals help make up where the floor meets the wall and the ceiling meets the wall. So now that we've got that in place, we have a completed basis of a room, the foundation to how to start. After that, we're gonna be putting in floor tiles. Now, every design is a little bit different, but for this project, we're gonna be putting in a pretty standard kind of school-like floor tile system. Easiest way is to make marks across the back wall. All right, we're gonna put in our orthogonals. Now you can see all the orthogonals, lesser orthogonals, originate from the vanishing point. If they do not point right to that vanishing point, they are incorrect, okay? They have to originate from the vanishing point. There's no other way about it from the vanishing point, okay? For this project, you will be looking at how many ortho how many floor tiles to put in. There'll be a specification or requirement for your assignments. Um, when I say so many that need to be put in, I'm talking about how many across, not the total number, but how many across. For this one, there are 12 across, right? So to complete the look of the floor tiles, we have to put in horizontal lines. Horizontal lines all have to be parallel to the horizontal lines on the back wall. If it is not parallel to the horizontal on the back wall, it is wrong, okay? You have to have it exact parallel to the back wall. I'm going to go to the ceiling tiles now. Basically, same principle as the floor tiles. All orthogonals originating from the vanishing point. Ceiling tiles, a little different style. We're going to go with a bit bigger cell size. All right, so if I said your requirement is six ceiling tiles, that's how many across. So then we've got them in, going across just like that. All right, again has to be parallel. All right, now we're gonna do some wall detail. Same way as the floor, but just on the side, all right? So we made some marks on how we wanna do it. It's gonna be kind of a wood brick style paneling. Um, now how to put in the door, pretty easy. Vertical lines, designate how far away it goes from that back wall. Two vertical lines and the top of the door must be an orthogonal line, no other choice. Three types of lines in the one point perspective drawing, vertical, horizontal, and orthogonal. If it does not come from the vanishing point as an orthogonal, it must be horizontal or vertical. So now we're putting in our wall details, some long lines, some orthogonals that go all the way across, all pointing from our vanishing point, going around the door, giving that door detail more a definitive shape, more all right, now we're going to put in some tiles. Think about brickwork and tile stones. They do not stack on top of each other. If you ever played Lego as a kid, you cannot build a wall with them all stacked straight on top. You've got to have them staggered. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Put them in some vertical lines. Just like I said with the horizontals, all vertical lines must be parallel to the vertical lines on the back wall if they are not perfectly parallel they are wrong so please be attentive okay we're going to do the other side 
we're going to put in a window. Windows work just like doors, except for they're clipped on the bottom, and they do not extend all the way to the primary orthogonal. Okay. Two orthogonal lines, one on top, one on bottom, and two vertical lines to define where the window goes. We're going to throw in a crossbar, measure halfway across the orthogonal line, make a little mark. Okay. Vertical line going up, one that is parallel to all other vertical lines. Big thing that you notice with all these lines that we're putting in on our side walls, everything gets bigger as it gets closer to the sides of the drawing, the outsides. Just like what we see when we look at things in space, it gets bigger as it gets closer to you. Everything must get bigger. Do not make floor tiles or ceiling tiles that are staggered. They can't be smaller, smaller, or they can't go bigger, bigger, small, big. It has to get bigger as it gets close. We're gonna throw some details in on the back wall. All right. We're just putting a door. Now, these are all horizontal and all vertical lines. No orthogonal is on the back wall. Okay, so we'll put in a window, two windows, drawing it in. Okay, just across. We're going to put in some stonework, kind of like the one side wall. We're just going to copy it. That left wall, what you were going to be doing is put two different designs, just to show some variety, show your understanding. Okay, and then you'll be putting details on the back wall. Okay, so we're going to do our brickwork as well. Remember, brickwork has to be staggered. Putting it across, we're also going to copy the size off of the ceiling. Okay, doing it across, staggering them. All right, so your objective will be the assigned number of ceiling and floor tiles to create a effective looking one point perspective drawing using the techniques learned from this video. You'll have to have a window and a door on each side wall and some details on the back wall. All right, that is about it.